should probably change the command. Hey there, one. This is Alcal playing Ave Escape, and last time we beat the game. Look at a happy little spike stepping. Today starts the real fun. We are going to be trying to full clear the entire game. My hope is to somehow manage to do a world per um, per video. But let's be honest. That's not something I can, like, exactly guarantee, right? But see here, we get 100% complete. We want that everywhere. So I got all the scepter coins in these two. I just need to find now all the monkeys. And considering this is the early game, I get a feeling that might not be that hard. Look what I've got! A new gadget! So you found Check Gadget 6! It it's hidden away somewhere. This is the magic punch. Oh, it's a it's fun... Really powerful. It's a fun glove. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. So you can use that well, to punch down like careful. grates and stuff. I wonder if this is just gonna replace my sword. Well, I mean, it depends how it goes, like how how, how fluid it is, how intuitive it is. Check it out, it's me! Fun glove! Yeah, it's, well, okay. And you can use, this is really silly. <laughs> That's a toy. Can get items with it. Till the right sing direction you want to punch. A harder you put. Oh, yeah. Uh. Okay, and you can interact with stuff with it, which is what I was wondering. Get out of here, door. Get out of here, door. Hey, nose head face. They're swimming both sides. Trip the switch. Aim well, or I can just go like. Uh, okay. Let's go that far. Yeah, it does kind of feel like a better sword. Okay, and here it's there to make sure that... Ooh, I did almost didn't make it. And make sure that, yeah, you can uh, eat lasagna if you want. Nothing's stopping you. Yeah, you can like, whoa. I mean, these enemies, like, okay, they're like space astral furbas. Got it, you know, realizing the might of the furba. It's just a toy you found in your garage, you old man. All right, let's break some things. Uh, yeah, like, you know, like, there were monkeys that were clearly, like, in, like, these weird, like, space capsules and stuff. All right. So, what's the situation? There are two more monkeys to find in this tiny little level. And I need to find them. That's the summary. It's been kind of a bit. Uh, let's be real. So, I, I, how much of the levels do I remember? I don't know. But, there's a monkey right there. So, good start. Uh, can I use my propeller from here? No. Can I stay on the silly pad? No. Okay, what I? Oh, uh, yeah. I want this. Okay, you can't really do anything. You are bothersome! Uh, Alright, I want you to become this. I wonder if that's why they, uh, something. Can I just do that? To get to this ledge. Yes. And now we're just kind of stuck here. There you go. Monkey, monkey. -da. We did it. And here's another monkey. Oh, this, this is not going very slow at all. This yes. is two monkeys on ledge. It's like, whoa, check it out. Monkeys. Like, I, was, I don't know. Do you know? That guy's like, whoa! He is shocked. He is beside himself. He is not here at this moment. Physically is here, but psychically, you did it. I did it. <laughs> Monkeys captured little bobbin monkey heads, and I already got a coins, so I can move on. You still throw me out completely. That's annoying. Song, like at least if you put me back in the map screen, it's fine. For the way I played this game, that was all like entirely fine. But here's molten lava. The lava's melting. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Three monkeys to find. Here we go. Monkey search. Music is there. Do we know what a monkey looks like? I saw a monkey on top of the waterfall there. Let's go! Let's go! Anything here? Oh, I do have a radar. The radar is something I might start to use eventually. Yeah, I feel like when I played here, I just kinda like immediately went... Give me my cookie back, please. 
Or did I ever go in here? Probably not, because there's just a bunch here. Like, just, just here. Like, barely not trying not to be here. It's kind of sad, really, how just there that monkey was. How does a grown man let that happen? I feel like I went up immediately when I played this. That there's blocking noise. I need to find a red switch open. Okay, alright. Why don't I just punch it down? Okay, well, there's a switch there. Can I, like, fling through this? I can! Okay, yeah, so these are stuff I wouldn't have been able to handle normally. Alright, there's a Triceratops! Hit the bomb- hit the bombs back at the facility need to knock on his back. What if I just punched him? What if I just, like, went here and, like, hey. 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 Okay, I see that bomb. Then you go, like, bomb! Alright, so we have to harm this poor Dongo. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do it. I'm not happy about it, but we're gonna do it. See, these monkeys are a menace. And, okay, now we slow down. What a pal. I can go in front of him and go, hey there, Al. It's probably not his name. Get up there, there we go. He blows up, he rears up, he bucks. Then I can just sit here in this corner thing. It's really safe. I'm just standing there. This is really silly and kind of not really thought through. You know what, it's World 1. Like, you know, that's just, it's the funny thing about returning to an old level. Now the dinosaur gets me. That was the monkey's final gambit. You did it, monkey. You final gambited. Oh, the monkey's just right there. No, that's not a monkey. Is there still a monkey here? No, like, we saw the monkey. So here's the thing, we saw the monkey in that, like, opening pan over the level. But, um, I'm not sure if, the, like, if, if the, if the pan adapts to where I am in the game or not. But let's explore more around that, just in case. Also, I never went on this ledge, so... Yeah, see, this is where it panned to. Then we saw the sky load in a pretty wild way. And also there's the monkey that was indeed in the stage pan. You're captured, you didn't even try to go away. Now I'm gonna do a flip and disappear. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna actually step and do the next world. Like I did everything with the editing I have to do. It was, it was nothing. So, cool. Tapping on your machine. 100% complete! Uh, now, the question is... Are these gonna be indicated in the monkey book? Like, if some of these I've seen before or not? Because I don't know if I'll be able to recognize them. I guess it doesn't really matter. It matters to me. Here we go! Look at those flashing logos! Oh, and here, none of them I have. Alright, well, let's step into the thick jungle. So none of them I have all the Spectre Coins. That's the part that scares me. I didn't find any Spectre coin. All right, and there's eight monkeys to get. Eight monkeys to get. This is where the crux of today's adventure is gonna be. I feel like. All right. Well, here we go. There's a monkey right there. But that's back what I was saying. Is it the same monkey or not? I don't know. Oh. I feel like I could have had not gone eaten by that. That was fun. Oh, well, one, there's a coin right there. Right at the start. Uh, uh, I, I tried to jump, but I guess I stepped off the tree first by accident. Dude. Don't be a jerk, please. Uh, yeah, on top of this wooden structure. Wow, I'm surprised that worked. It didn't look like it really did. And I got an extra shirt for my effort. Ah, yeah. Invisible wall. Yeah, this is the place that introduces boats. This is a giant fish. Yeah, just there, making shots. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I barely really explore this place. 
Sure love this thing that barely controls. It's the best. Right, I want to get on this thing. There we go. I heard a monkey scream. Hey, monkey. Want to get down or something? Get him down. There. Oh, I... I'm good at distances. Wow, it is wild, though, how on... Um, like... They're just bad at getting away, these monkeys, compared to what I got used to. Like, this is making me realize how much later monkeys just are very good at getting out of the way. I need to get on top. Like, in case there's something on top there, doesn't look like there is. Okay, there isn't. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna take my chance with the electricity at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure I've been here before, but I did not have the ability to move. Okay. okay, so I can blow up that wall. Is there not something on top here? I guess not. Uh, so here, yeah, you have the ability, the option to just punch out this wall so you don't have to do that thing again, which is pretty nice. Oh, it's over here. Um, there we go! <laughs> I think that you're supposed to find a way there, but my stretchy fist actually reached out through it and kind of cheated. That's what I think happened. Yeah, normally you'd have to go over here instead or something. Well, that's silly. This thing is still a lot, though. Like, if we go in the menu... I'm missing a ton here. It's like I'm missing an entire area somehow. Where? Over there somewhere? Okay. That's why... That's when the monkey radar becomes good. Um... <laughs> There. Oh yeah, there's the monkey like way up there. And the point. Oh wow, where is this place? Actually, it's like just this little like side zone I completely missed somehow. I can't come without certain gadgets. Okay, sure. Wait, can I helicopter up to you? That'd be a lot more fun. Yeah, I don't think so. And that thing is back. Doing great. Uh, sure. Go da da. Pressing buttons is the thing we do. You're up there. I'm not you down, you fool. Stupid net. Ah! Get the monkey and things. Get the monkey and things. That's what things are all about. And so it's really clear when you're really close, though. So I'm very happy about that. Alright, you want me to get out of here, right? Over here, so oh yeah, I can clear the safe. Did I- I remember you! Did I not catch you? Like, I remember a monkey, like, hiding out and- yeah, and these. Did I not catch you? I- I was sure I did. Did I, like, give up? Alright, I'm surprised that caught him. Not gonna complain. So, over here somewhere. Alright. Alright, going in here. Did I ever come here? Where is this? I've, I'm like at this clip zone, yeah, that like, you would absolutely- Whoa, is there anything in the bottom? Ow! Hurt. <laughs> I mean, they're this- they could hide a Spectre coin in one of these, like, places, so I have to check. Okay, yeah, there's this, like, little, like, mountain zone valley. And yeah, like, 
it's explicitly made for the the rudder, which you would not have at this point. All right, so I'm thinking that a chunk of what I'm missing is going to be here then. Here we go, introduction to the power of flight a little bit, what you want. The stage is completely clear when every last monkey is caught. That, okay. Oh! Well, I'm not gonna do that, probably. But I have- Oh, that's really good for gates, turns out. Monkey on the statue. I think at some point it was like right next to me and I just kind of sat there. Oh well, now you've revealed the secret of the hedge. Alright, well while you're losing everyone's time, let's look around here a little bit. You know, there's the statue. Whoa, there's a great camera. Can you go inside a mouth? Okay, yeah, it's a statue of scepter. Got it. Whoa! Monkey! How did- See, this is why I find myself pathetic sometimes. He's just walk right next to me. Just no reaction Jones. He just completely let him do it. That's not Slime Cat. That's a pig. It's a hopping pig. It's the happiest, hoppinest pig around. Alright, that guy is just kind of mosing along. He's looking straight at me. He is looking straight at me. He's very good as John. Uh, what? Uh, Whoa, well, okay. <laughs> I wanted to change the camera to see. Somehow I just leapt right off and lost everything. Okay, that seems to still be in that area. Yeah, so there's clearly more over there. See, I thought, I, I saw I saw the tree. I was like, oh, well, that's, that's gonna be it. Is there a monkey? Is it behind the tree? Is it just like... Hiding? Not that I can tell. I cannot tell anything. That's a bonus. Is this thing on top of the tree? No. Cause like the the okay, well it looks very hard to interact with anything here, actually. L2. Okay, so Zanzibar, great barbecue chef is in a cave around here. Yeah, it's around here where, like, the game just let me fall. No, other way around. I'm trying to look. But you're... Why are you turning the camera like this? Don't do that. I feel like there's a cave entrance somewhere. Oh, I saw the ledge there. Punch, punch, punch... The Good, great, awesome, great, thanks. We have ledges on the edge of the cliff. It's surprisingly difficult not to fall. I mean, it's a very precarious ledge. Look at this guy, he's just like living his life. Caught some fish. I should get the coin in case that's the last monkey because I lost track. And I don't want to be booted out and have to come back for the coin. Oh, look at that. Chucking rocks, dropping banana peels, getting caught. He was not my last one. How are we doing? I got all the coins, I'm still missing. That's good, because like I said, once I get the last monkey, I'm out of here, right? I get zapped out. Uh, so if I'm still missing a scepter coin, then I have to, you know, rock and roll a little bit. In a way that I might not necessarily want to. nothing around. So I'm choosing to interpret that to mean like that not even the next area over has monkeys. But this will lead now to an area that will have a monkey. Have I been here earlier today? Probably not, because there's a monkey just there. There's a UFO just there. Okay. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of side areas here. So this is a blue UFO. It's a UFO type I'm kind of used to. I'm not too worried about it. They're kind of annoying to fight, because they move around a lot. Yeah, I have homing bullets, but... I mean, when am I going to use them? Good point, oh, cow. And, like, they keep having drops that I don't use. 
So, let's use them. That's a good point. No, I, I agree with self. Hey, check it out, we got a guy! Check it out, we got a guy! Now he is gonna die! Well, no, he's being sent to the monkey dimension. And there's the last monkey over there. Here's the boulder platforming section on the level that I've never visited before. I could have visited before, but honestly, like, I feel like that's the thing with this level in particular, right? Like, there's a lot going on, and you get whisked away as soon as you do what you want to do, so... Uh-huh. Alright, finally, I get those explained. Uh, alright, so... I don't know if I would have been able to get that monkey, though, because, like, he's, like, way up there. I saw the flashing lights on his hat. Ow. I just need to figure out how I want Ow. to do about that. I was afraid of getting soft locked there. Yeah. Oh, 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 you're the dangling fine. Alright, well that makes things pretty easy. Hey, friend though, I missed. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna burn it back. There you go. Take your time. Get hit. Have a light panic attack. And be sent away to the eighth dimension. Not the eighth. There's there's a very clear distinction you have to make. Okay, so it's as I said, this this was a full re-exploration. But, you know, I also got three other levels completely out of the way. So I feel like it's going to teeter like that a lot, where there are levels where I'm just gonna step in, do a thing real quick, and then step out. And others are gonna be a lot more involved with it. And I've unlocked the third minigame. We will see what that is uh, next time. Yeah, that could be a good diversion. <laughs> One shot of uh, full clearing, then we'll immediately move on to something else. So here's the thing. Thick Jungle is a level I just did. I, I don't know, like, which one I got before or not. But we can go through the list. Zenza Bar's a great barbecue chef. Oh, and these little nuts on a dance. Herb! Still weed. There's the philosopher. There's the shiny thing guy. Flies UFO for fun! Feel safe in the tree. Alright, and that leads us around. And again, it's like over here in World 1. Like, well, World 1, we already look. Was probably the blue guy, I'm going to assume, but I don't know. He needs a bath! And there's, a uh, sleeps on the water. He has gills, it's pretty good. Alright, and, uh, here in Molten Lava, again, I, I got some. Won't go wild in the hair! That's, that's how I said that, I just completely, like, gave up on using words for a hot moment there. Can't get down! Ah, that's a Triceratops Wrangler, that's pretty obvious. And there we go, I, it's still fun, it's just, it's, it's just a little bit awkward. Like, if you could have, like, a little star and say, hey, you never look that, well, I mean, if the game was re-released, they'd probably do something like that. It's fun. This is now we gotta look at everything. And then you're like, I've seen everything. I have the sum total knowledge of the entire universe within me. And so my vocabulary drops to a single word. That's how it goes. 